Hey everyone, Will from All Electric back again with another video. Finally, we have the FSD Beta version 12.3. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit Okay, so here's the release notes. It's super short for this version 12.3 of the FSD beta. And it basically just says FSD beta version 12 upgrades to the city streets driving stack to a single end to end neural net trained on millions of video clips, replacing over 300,000 lines of explicit C++ code. Now something in the autopilot settings that it does say is new is this automatic set speed offset. So this automatic set speed offset allows you to adjust autopilot to drive at the speed that it determines most most natural. This considers factors like road type, traffic flow, environmental conditions, speed limit, and the selected full self-driving beta profile, profile settings, chill, average, or assertive. The driver is always responsible for the speed of the vehicle. So there's a little uh, disclaimer there at the bottom. All right, so we will turn that on. So automatic fleet offset, it says it again. Do you want to enable this? Because we are responsible. So if you're driving it, you're responsible. Tesla is not responsible. For this FSD beta testing, we are gonna be in assertive mode here. This is what we've been waiting for. Sorry it's taken so long, but I'm really not in control of it. As soon as I get this update, I do try to push out the videos as quick as possible. I appreciate all your patience. Let's all jump right into a test drive. So we have a couple destinations set in here. You can see that my gray steering wheel is up here so I can engage autopilot just with a single pull. It's gonna pull away from the curb and go around this car here. And we are going to test this out today. I have a couple destinations set in the navigation that should take us through a couple neighborhoods, a little downtown area, and also on a highway. Coming up to a stop sign here, making a full stop. The visuals are doing an excellent job. Full stop here, no cars coming, so it should go. And it does make that left-hand turn a little bit more uh, lenient or reserved than I would like it. I do have this set to assertive um, and it is possible that it is set um, because this is a 25 mile an hour like neighborhood zone. Got some construction going on over here, getting real close to that cone, but does go around this dirt pile and the cone. Excellent job. But I think because this is a more residential area um, is why Oh, it's not going to go. We have a car approaching from this side. Um, but I think that's why it is being a little bit more cautious versus like on a highway. And we will definitely see in our testing here. Left-hand turn, real smooth and pretty powerful coming out of that left-hand turn. So really good to see that. Now, if you do notice here, it might be hard to see, but we are coming up to a 15 mile an hour school speed limit sign. So it'd be interesting to see if that has been added. It does identify the light, but it does not adjust the speed at all. We are staying with the flow of traffic, so I'm not gonna adjust the speed. And we are coming up to a stop sign here. And I believe we are going to make a right-hand turn as well. So it does kind of have this moving stop sign here, which was kind of cool. And that is the teacher or the crossing guard here at this um, school. Let's see if that does pop up again. It only showed it though when she was holding the sign up, which is really interesting. So it does show blue, like it's that car's turn. And then it should go. And it is going to make a right-hand turn. Excellent job by the FSD beta. Now, if you are testing this new version 12.3, just like I am, make sure you do what Tesla recommends. Remain attentive. This is still a beta version. You need to keep your hands on the wheel and be ready to take over at any moment. Passing a model through Y there, close, uh, parked on that side. Uh, did get a little bit close, but it did do a decent job. So I'm using this new um, automatic adjusting speed here. So you can say it's auto and max. And I guess it's max because I have it set to assertive, the most aggressive FSD beta. So full stop way back here. 
Now it's gonna creep forward, no traffic coming, and it does make a smooth right-hand turn. Excellent job, a little robotic, but really well done. Some cross traffic here, we do get some slowdown, which was okay. It wasn't like a phantom harp, you know, harsh random braking. Um, that was pretty natural. Coming up to the stop sign here, we are in the correct lane. Sometimes in my previous uh, tests, the FSD beta would go in the incorrect lane here when trying to make a right-hand turn, so nice to see that. Now coming to a full stop, and now it's gonna creep forward. And it does. And it also pulls into the correct lane. So we have some blinding sunlight right in front of us right now but it doesn't seem like the FSD beta is phased at all. For me, I thankfully have sunglasses on and I'm not sure how the video is gonna turn out with this um, sunlight directly coming through the windshield. Now coming up here, we are going into this turn lane, which it did hesitate for a little bit. We do have a yield, lots of oncoming traffic, so it is gonna need to come to a stop and it smoothly comes to a stop. Again, I wanna reiterate, the sun is directly pointing at this camera right here, and it is still unfazed. Previous software updates, we would have an error saying like, you know, limited visibility or take over immediately. Um, it is coming up to be clear right here, and the FSD beta does see it, even with the sun right in its front camera. Excellent job right there. Another sort of residential area, speed limit 35, and again, we're on this auto adjusted speed limit. And now it looks like we are coming into this roundabout, but it's saying that it's just a right-hand turn because we are in a right-hand turn only and not going through the roundabout. So it does have to yield here, which it there is no cars and it does a great job, really smooth. Now there is a left-hand turn here and I wanna mention that because the older FSD betas have been tricked by those left-hand turns and I have had it dive into those left-hand turns when we are going straight. So really nice to see how smooth this is passing those left-hand turn lanes. Now this left-hand turn lane we are taking and we are gonna make this left-hand turn. There is a van coming up and I think it does see it. Although for me even, it is hard to see this van that is passing us right now, but the FSD beta is able to see it even with that sun directly at that front camera. Excellent job. Now making a left-hand turn. Pausing for this car. Excellent job, super smooth. Very smooth by the FSD beta. And now we are coming up to this little park here. It does identify that this is a circle and does start going similar to my last test. If you haven't seen that, you can go check it out and you can see and compare the two FSD betas. All right, so now we are kind of up on the uh, sidewalk here. You can see that now that we are in this park assist mode, uh, you can see that it is red because we are a little bit up on this sidewalk. You can see in this um, uh, alternate camera angles. I'm gonna re-engage autopilot and it's gonna pull away and it does an excellent job and very sharp turn. I've noticed that um, this is able to make sharper turns than previous FSD betas. Again, blinded by the sun here. I do have sunglasses on, I can see and the FSD beta is having no problems at all. Full stop here, right turn signal on, and it does complete the right turn, no cars around us. So interesting here, we have a truck up here near the stop sign with its flashers on. Let's see if it goes around it, and it does identify that it is stopped, and it is gonna go around it. Excellent job.
full stop here, making a left-hand turn at the stop sign. There is a truck coming to the right. It's creeping for visibility right now. And now there is a gap where it can go, but there is another car coming. It's gonna wait for that second car, which is passing right now. And now it is clear and it is gonna go. Excellent job. So this road does get a little curvy here and let's see how it does with the sun shining right into our eyes or into its main camera eye. Some road work ahead on this sign here. Again, limited visibility right now, but it's doing an excellent job maintaining the lane position. Really great job. So far, very impressed with this 12.3 FSD beta. Making a left-hand turn, following these vehicles, very smooth and even smooth on that bump right there. It's almost like that felt really human-like in terms of driving, going over that little um, bump there on that turn. Excellent job. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but again, I'm so impressed right now because the sun is directly pointing at us through this windshield and it is seeing everything still. Previous softwares could not do this. So excellent job by the FSD beta. A little bit of debris in the road over there. It looks like glass or something. So I am steering around it. Debris in the road. And so now rather turn in here, I am gonna skip this destination point and we are gonna to move to the next one. So left turn coming up here, did creep up on this Model Y, even though it wasn't going anywhere. Tight left turn here, does go into two lanes. Now, interesting to see what it does here because this lane goes into a turn lane and we have to transition over. So let's see what happens. So it's kind of pacing with this white car here over to our right. There is a gap for it to get over. It is slowing down. Now this is clearly a turn lane and now the turn signal comes on and it does get over. It didn't hesitate a little bit before it did get over. Now it needs to stay in this left lane position which it did ping pong a little bit over into that turn lane but didn't quite go there. Now coming up to this interchange, we should get over into this lane because we are gonna be making this left turn to get onto the interstate or the highway. So it should be getting behind this truck here. It's gonna be interesting to see in 500 feet, we need to turn left. So now the left-hand turn signal comes on and now it does end up getting over behind that truck. I'm sure the person behind me was not happy about that. Green arrow does come on and now we should be turning left onto this highway. Following this traffic here and it does make a smooth left turn. Excellent job. Left turn signal comes on. You can see that the automatic speed limit looks like it's turned off and it's just set to max 85 which if you have tesla insurance anything over 85 will dock you um, in your safety score does transition lanes again already around this truck which is pretty assertive so i like that So just a few miles there on the highway, but I will say that it was pretty smooth and pretty aggressive like the FSD beta suggested in the setting that we are on right now. Left turn coming up here. It 
it is going out rather wide and it looks like it's changing lanes from the left to the right mid left turn and then going back over to this left lane so i guess that was pretty aggressive it's probably trying to get around this slower vehicle here and saw that the right lane was open Now again, on that highway, we were pretty aggressive in that left lane, maximum speed set to 85. Now it switches back to auto. I think it does cap you at 85 miles an hour on the highway, but really smooth, especially transitioning lane to lane and maintaining that lane position. And I will also say anytime somebody in front of you tap the brakes, it was really good and really attentive and not slamming on the brakes, but getting ready to slow down and I could almost feel a little bit of regen starting. I'm gonna go ahead and disengage here and go straight. So we got to test some highway at highway speeds and it did a pretty decent job. Now we're gonna test a two lane road at pretty fast speeds. Left turn signal does come on. We are gonna make a left hand turn. We're following this Land Cruiser here. It almost went over the yellow but then it decided to wait. I think I was just following this car. We do need to slow down here. We are yielding to oncoming traffic and it does slow down because of this truck coming on. We do still have a yield here. And it should go after this car. There is nobody around. It does hesitate a little bit there. I would want to see it kind of go right past that oncoming traffic on that yield. So at 45 mile an hour, two lane road, and you can see that the auto speed limit is saying, okay, we'll go 48 miles an hour, about three miles an hour over the posted speed limit. I would say most people on this road go about 50, about five miles an hour over. So 48 is fine. And I guess it's pretty good for a new um, auto speed adjustment. So this version 12.3 is really good. A limited test today. Um, if there's other things that you guys wanna see, leave a comment down below and I'll try to do a video of that. Like if it's a roundabout or if it's a particular situation, try to describe that situation and I'll try to put the FSD beta in that situation. But this 12.3, I'm pretty impressed. There are a couple things that I noticed that I hope came through on the video with how smooth it does left and right hand turns and how it interacts with the other vehicles on the road. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Please share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will be doing more testing and other fun videos and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.